Mbalala Resident City Commissioner Lieutenant Colonel Fred Mwesije has appealed to oversee the conservation of River Rees ecosystems. He warned all those who have insisted on making illegal developments along River Rees catchment area that they will lose with no compensation. First phase, a could help us so much, helped us so much. It helped the population because when you move from Buheju downwards and you see some restrictions of swamps, some cuttings of forests that are in swamps, then what they even need to do to help the population that is nearby, now that they have got the second phase, if we join hands with them as workers of government, I'm sure River Rees will be saved. The Director of Programs Agency for Cooperation in Research and Development, Uganda, Dunstan Damulida Paul, said the project is to target six sub-catchments in Rampara district, adding that the three-year project will cost 2.8 billion shillings. We are going to work closely with all the stakeholders in the catchment, including the leaders in the districts, uh, the community leaders, and the people who are living in, in the catchments that we are going to support. We are going to target a total of six catchments, or what we call sub-catchments, or rather micro-catchments, uh, including catchments like Kongoro, Mihoko, Nyakaikara, Kakondo, and all these catchments are basically uh, books that are the source of river rees. The chairperson, Rizi Catchment Management Committee, Captain J. Bibam Turachi Tumusime, appreciated great work being done by Agency for Cooperation in Research and Development towards restoration and protection of River Rizi Catchment Systems. River Rizi Catchment Management Committee covers 14 districts now. But uh, we have our city here. We have to make sure that the degraded wetlands are restored. Uh, the appeal goes to the technical team. The technical team, I have been telling them, I have been appealing them to be at the forefront. I know some of them are, uh, have bigger challenge of the local leaders, saying these are our people, leave them to stay, let, let, let them operate from the wetlands. It is very wrong. The technical team, uh, people, the environment officers, let them be at the forefront to make sure that degraded wetlands are restored. Dr. Roda Tumsime, the representative of the Chairperson Board of Agency for Cooperation in Research and Development, ACCORD, said the restoration of River Rizi is very important for sustainable development. River Rizi is very, very important. We have seen the efforts which were done in the past, but now that the efforts are yielding results, I call upon each and every one of you to take responsibility in ensuring that uh, we make it more sustainable by not waiting for money from government but by doing our own responsibility. Launch this project and make sure that this project benefits the beneficiaries.